like the river, love may find its way back to life. And this has been the real world experience of entrepreneur, life coach and motivator Khadija Mir. Hers is a fascinating and enlightening story and she held me spellbound as she told it. Truly a people person by inclination and training, Khadija Mir also draws on personal experience when counselling her clients. I met Khadija Mir recently at a kitchen tea and there was an instant connection. Her energy and purpose are so palpable that I just had to introduce her to all of you. A quiet time for introspection and spiritual reconnection is part of Khadija's daily routine. Khadija, you gorgeous woman. Zaki, lovely to see you. I know you've already done a million things and the morning has just started. What are you busy with right now? I'm going towards clean eating, so I'm having some lovely fruit and my gloopy green drink, as my son calls it. So nice, finding some space and some time every morning is to just sit down and do some self-reflection, meditation, and I love journaling. Khadija, what is the nature of the work you do? I own a human capital development company, so I provide management and HR consulting services to corporates and to the public as well. I also am a business, life, and couples coach, and I work with individuals in order to facilitate a process in enabling them to make a shift. You are a superwoman and you drink green juice. Do you like some Zags? No. I've got a client arriving, so why don't you just hang around in this beautiful garden and then I'll see you shortly. I'll see you later. All right. Oh, it's lovely to see you. Yeah. I want us to just reflect on some of the aspects in terms of the wheel of life. When you've been here for so long, Fatima! Hi, how are you Fatima? Good, good. Fatima, what value has working with Khadija given you? Coaching has given me a new lease on life. I've realized that there's a rainbow amidst every storm. There was never a day that Khadija didn't message me with any positive messages. That's what pulled me through. You give me too much credit, Fatima. You've done all the hard work. Sex, we've got chocolate cake and tea. Chocolate cake is the best surprise. Okay. See you. Bye. Khadija, you definitely know how to spoil me. Well, it's time for us to celebrate being women. How did you get involved in women empowerment? During my life journey, people would perceive me from the outside being this perfect superwoman, but inside I actually had certain aspects of my life that I was actually grappling with. I had five pregnancies of which only two were successful. But during that period, I always felt that I wasn't woman enough, that I wasn't able to actually qualify as this perfect woman. And in terms of the world of work, I progressed significantly and soared to great heights. But with all of that, success comes at a price as well. My husband and I, at a specific juncture, when my dad passed away, we went through a really difficult patch in our marriage and we went through an Islamic divorce. So as much as I'm the person helping other people, I was unable to help myself. And I needed to actually do some self-reflection, take some time out and work through some of those aspects within myself. My husband at the time, well, he also needed to do some work and we went through a coaching process in order to facilitate and enhance communication between each other. And miraculously, we got back together. Khadija, what kind of workshops do you conduct? The workshops that we conduct are self-development workshops. They namely relationship management, finding your emotional compass, dealing with aspects in your life that you may be having challenges and difficulty with. You also use a technique called NLP. What is NLP? Neuro-linguistic programming refers to understanding how your mind functions and operates and optimizing your potential. Through the neuro-linguistic programming process, we actually can help an individual overcome some of those limiting beliefs about themselves and those particular negative thought patterns that they've had in their lives. How was the Unfiltered Me hashtag born? The hashtag Unfiltered Me program was born at the time when I was going through certain life challenges and experiences. The program is all about women finding a safe space within themselves to trust in themselves, to take off the barriers, to take off the filters, to take off the survival suits that we put on every single day and really embrace the inner self. Why don't you just dig in while I go and get changed to go and conduct a workshop? I'll be here eating the chocolate cake. See you later. Hashtag unfaltered means being honest with yourself, being real with yourself. And that'll actually mean being less selfish with yourself. Dealing with 
how you really feel inside. To be unfiltered to me means to be unapologetic about who I am. So Levo, how did you find the relationship management workshop? For me, it was more about learning how to relate with other people. Hi there, Zax. This is Levo. She attended one of our workshops. Hello. What has been your experience and expectation of working with Khadija? Learning a lot from her about myself and about others has helped me so much and with these tools that she's given me, I mean, I can go so far. And yeah, I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Lebo. Thank you very much. Bye. Okay, see you soon, hey? Bye, Lebo. Khadija, why is women empowerment so, so important? I believe that women should empower themselves and have a sense of independence and unleash the capacity and the capabilities that they have from within. So I've just done that and I'll be taking you through to a new venture that I've just purchased into as a franchisee. Would you like to come? I'd love to. Let's go. This was an opportunity to see Khadija's entrepreneurial side in action. With beauty, personal branding and empowerment all forming part of the life-enhancing message that she promotes and exemplifies. Khadija, how did you get involved? I actually was lured into this particular business because there are synergies with regards to women. Can you believe it, Zaki? 18.8% of women in South Africa are female entrepreneurs. The statistic is very low, and I do believe that women need to empower themselves and they need to become more independent and have a sense of self-worth. Khadija, thank you so much for sharing your light with me today. Thank you so much, Zex, for spending time with me today. I really enjoyed it. It's all about leveling up. It may be hard work, it may be a bit uncomfortable, but in the end, it's all worth it.